Happy Monday. Hope everybody had a great, great weekend. I know I did. I, I was watching the girls this weekend and had a great time with them. We went to uh, a mountain that's called Grandfather Mountain, which is uh, here and uh, it's it's right just over the border of Tennessee and North Carolina. Did that. We had a great time. I love doing that on Sundays, kind of just clear my head a little bit um, besides, you know, working all the time and, and so forth. So we had a great time. So uh, I started thinking about it yesterday, driving home from that. And, you know, it just hit me right now. Not a lot of people um, are getting seller concessions or what they want. What that is, guys, so, you know, people who don't understand it. Thanks, Brian. Appreciate the loves and likes. Um, is basically, um, you know, you know, having a seller pay some of your closing costs. So there's a couple of different strategies to that. Okay, and 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 your agent will definitely help you with this. But basically, it's it's you know either you know trying trying to get the let's call it five thousand dollars towards closing costs. Okay. Um, but let's say that the seller says, you know what, I'm getting seven, eight different offers here. Why should I give you seller concessions? Okay. So what you can do, but you gotta be careful now because appraisals are starting to come in somewhat lower because it's not catching up to the market yet is, is to maybe raise the price a little bit and have the seller pay that for you. That sounds easy, right? Uh, some sellers will do it. Some won't because what's happening now, like I just said, you know, there's some appraisals coming in somewhat lower. Okay. So as a lender, how do we approach this? So kind of, there's a couple of different things. Obviously, find out if they have more assets. There's there's usually some other assets that they have that they haven't told you about. Okay, so that's where the details come in. You know, for an example, I told my team this morning, a cash value life insurance policy. I'm not saying use all of it. I'm saying, you know, if there's some there to use for down payment, great. Or for closing costs, great. Uh, it's not going to take away from the, you know, from, from the bigger picture of you and so forth. But let's say you don't have that. Let's say, let's see if you ask for a gift, gift funds from a family member, okay? Now, people usually say, no, I can't do that. There's nobody who's going to say it. But once they find out that's the only way to make the deal work, then people start changing their mind, okay? Here's something that the lender can do, okay? It's called a lender credit, okay? And a lot of people don't understand what this means. Basically is, you know, I can get you any rate you want, okay? It's just a matter from top, you know, top down, Okay? And, and there's different costs and there's there's different um, costs associated with that and there's different credits associated with that, okay? So let's say, for an example, okay? And this is not the rate now because there's 26 factors into interest rates. So it's not it's like a car loan where he, here's the interest rate for the next 30 days. But let's just say, okay, you know, I'm quoting somebody, three, you know, like 3%. Okay, and that 3% is costing, let's say, uh, half of a point, okay? Just making this up right now. But let's say at 3.375, I can give a lender credit of 1%, okay? What does that mean? So you can take 1% of that loan amount and I can give it back to the borrower to help out towards closing costs, okay? So let's say the, let's, let's call the, the, the actual like loan amount $200,000 and it's 1%. I can give $2,000 towards closing costs. So that's why it's important when you sit down with somebody to, to go over options. Because what that does is, is show them, okay, listen, I can pay a little bit more now. I can save on the back end. You know, am I going to be there, you know, seven or eight, nine, ten years where it's going to really start paying off for me? Or should I pay a little higher rate, less out of my pocket? Because, you know, I got to paint the house or I got to move. Or I got to pay for this and pay for that. So there's different things to, to, to kind of be aware of. But as a lender, you can, you know, offset some of this by really educating them and, and walking them through, hey, there's multiple options. It's not just this option. You can go through this one, this one, or this one. And by doing that, that helps them really make the best decision. And it helps them, especially in this market, okay, when there is so, it's so competitive, people don't want to give up anything because they're, you know, they're waiting to see the best, highest, and best offer uh, that's where lender credits can come in and kind of make up that difference. Sometimes it, it doesn't make up all the difference, but it can make up a big difference where it can make the deal work for you, okay? So lender credits is a big thing that, that, that the lender can do. That's why it's important, like I said earlier, to go over multiple, multiple options so you can make the best decision, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. If you got any questions, comment down below. Shoot me a private message on Facebook or text me at 423 423- 
262-9229. I say text because a lot of times I'm going to be doing something like this. I'm going to be on the phone. Or I'm going to be in a meeting. I'm going to be working on a business plan. We have a corporate meeting. So sometimes it's tough for me to pick up. But if you text me, I can text you right back and say, listen, I'm on, you know, in a meeting. I can call you right back or we can set up a time where I can chat. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. Let me know. Have a great week. Have a great Monday and I'll talk to you soon.